Hey everybody, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add some awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or your stone tablets. I don't know, whatever you're doing out there. You know what? I've said this before and I'll say it again. We have numerous ways for you to track the games that you want to get to. And uh, I guess I'm speaking directly to Maddie KO right now. There's no reason for you to grab your chisel and uh, slabs of stone where you're carving out the names of games that you want to play. Um, there's just better ways, Maddie. It's great to be here with all of you today. Uh, we are back with some Cult of Babel. This is a game that I've been enjoying quite a bit. Uh, if you didn't see the previous attempts with the uh, wizard character, I'll post a link above to our playthrough uh, of the game, and you can feel free to check that one out and then jump back in and see this character who boasts a pretty wicked shotgun, I'm going to say, and the ability to slice throats it's not bad right so we're going to try to have a good run today and show off this character uh you know i would like a familiar that targets nearby enemies named vampy that sounds just wonderful now this character compared to the other one is uh more faster moving and less durable. So the other character starts with three hearts. We're only getting two uh, out of her. And so we've got to be a little bit more careful. But I'm told that there are some card combinations in this game that can just make her ridiculously powerful. And I'm hoping we can, we can do that today. We just have to be careful in these opening rounds while we're in the process of powering her up. Ooh, that's going to help quite a bit. So if this is the first time you're seeing this one, uh, what we have is a roguelite arena survival game uh, with more of an active combat system. Okay, damage up right after dashing. Uh, I definitely like the soul gear. So let's do that. Uh, range and luck up grants one demon heart. So that'll give us an extra heart. I think we should do that. That's good. That's good. Slowly building that power up. Uh, we've got meta progression. We've got deck building. And uh, it's fun. That's pretty much all you have to know. There's uh, a series of stages that we're trying to get through. There are bosses. So it's got some good stuff going for it. And if you're new to the channel, thanks again for being here with us. Would love to earn the right to your subscription. We have just some awesome community members, people that love rogues. And if you like rogues, uh, this is a great place to see a number of them get played and maybe cost you some money. When you see these games. Let's fill those wish list slots, shall we? We'll do it together. All right. Uh, let's see. Secret spell. Bullet speed up. Fire a soul wave in the face direction every four shots. That sounds good. Health thorns sounds good. Uh, do we want to go ice rune? I don't know that we want to right now. Um, hmm. fire rate up weapon spread increase let's do that and uh, do we have an yeah uh, let's see the thorns down flick bleed yeah let's go with that let's get some bleed happening out there and then hopefully we'll just continue building up in strength now we've got spikes coming out. That'll help control the crowd a little bit more in theory. 
Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Well, good thing that was just a warm-up run, right? I'm going to jump right back in. You didn't know that was a warm-up run, but that was a warm-up run. <laughs> I used to say that all the time in Noida. Uh, I had a series called Coffee and Noida. If, if you haven't gotten a Noida yet, you should check out this series. I did a daily Noida run, and sometimes I'd get in there, and uh, the run would just go straight to hell, you know? Just bad. Just very bad. Gang 2 armor. This is range up and gang 1 armor. Let's go for the twofer. But I'm happy to see that armor popping up right away. You know, and so sometimes the runs would end pretty early on. And I'd go, well, you know, great news. That one was just the warm-up run. Uh, we're jumping right back in. And nobody ever said, hey, what are you talking about? We, we think you actually just got in there and sucked. Because <laughs> you're all too nice to do that. We won't start doing that right? We won't. We won't start. If you want to do that, you can. You can. It doesn't bother me. In fact, uh, a lot of times I get a chuckle out of it. Like, yeah, you're right. You're right. That, uh, that run did. That sucked. So it is, uh, it is a nice rainy day out here. Okay, we got drunk projectiles damage up. We got fire rate up. Fire a soul wave. You know what? Here's what I want to do. I want to do this one. I want to do this one. And I want to do this one. And I don't really want to do that one. So that, that worked out okay. It's a nice rainy day out by me. You know, but it's it's rainy and it's like 60 degrees out there. So it's it's almost like a nice, uh, you know, day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Seattle. It's like a nice Seattle weather day. You know, I visited Seattle years and years ago and uh, I, I found out that I tend to like a nice rainy day where it's still uh, like fall temperature out there so you can you know get out and and enjoy it anyways whoa we took two two hits there let's let's avoid doing that again of course, it'll be a run under. You know what? There's a health over there. We're going to grab that real quick. There we go. Now we're now we're living our best life again. But I like the rainy days. Do you? Or is it just me? All right. So critical hit chance up. Your projectiles can now freeze enemies. Unlocks ice cards. Um, player speed up. Bullet speed up. I think we're already pretty fast. So we're going to go Fairy Dust, uh, and then I'm going to take a look at the upgrades here. Um, range up and getting two armor. That sounds great. Uh, critical hit chance up. Fire rate up. Let's do that. Okay. We're not, I'm not feeling OP yet, but that's, that's really what I'm going for. We want one of those broken runs today. All right. Later in the week, I'm going to be showing off a new game I got my hands on. This is a game that is a roguelike deck builder. That also involves karate. So you can look forward to that coming your way soon. I had fun with it. Love the opportunity to play some of these games when they come out and help get the word out. All right, Ace of Hearts, HP up, luck up. I think think that's worth doing. We'll get another heart slot. Enemies can bleed. 100% crit chance on bleeding enemies. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that, sounds, that sounds pretty okay. 
we should probably build in the direction of bleeding. You know, because there's, there's different cards out there that'll uh, do things for bleed and will cause bleed. So let's let's try for that. And I know I'm not using the special very much. I need to be better about that. Ooh, man. Ah, oh, they got me on the explosion, the robot explosion that time. I'm excited because later I'm going to be making an egg bake, you know, and I've been doing, well, let's make some decisions here first. Damage up and gang one armor. I think we should for this character. Your projectiles can now spawn thunder strikes. I think this goes more hand in hand with the bleed theme that we're going for. Let's see if there's anything else we want to do here. No, I guess not. We're, uh, can't afford it. So, yeah, I typically do sausage in my, my egg bakes. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to try something new today and I'm getting some shredded pork uh, that has a Jack Daniels uh, seasoning to it. And I'm going to add some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue. And I'm going to put that in an egg bake. And I, I expect some really positive results coming from uh, the family audience that will be eating it, you know? I make dinner a few times a week. My wife and I split that responsibility. And, uh, you know, I try to stay away from too much of the packaged stuff. All right, let's see here. I think we got to go vampy. Uh, random stat up. Well, that might be okay. Uh... Your projectiles can now freeze enemies. I, we should probably do that. Is there anything in here that looks like we can't live without it? This would gang us in armor and go damage up. Vampy's projectiles now inflict bleed. Okay, so I think we're going to do this one and this one. Just really continuing to build out that theme of the bleed effect. Let's not let these guys get too close. Can robots bleed? Yes. Yes, they can. Apparently. Yeah, so I try to stay away from the package stuff um it's really easy to go hog wild on that stuff you know because you get home after working or maybe you're you know at home working and it's the end of the day and you're like i don't want to cook right now Ooh, invoke an orbital every 12 kills max 10 that's wonderful yes get those damn orbitals out there let's do it Build a whole circle of blade satellites. Picking up. We've got to get in there and pick these up right now. Without getting killed. So we're getting close to shop time. Okay. 263. 10% uh, dodge chance. Um, I don't know. I like to stay away from the commons if I can. But at the same time, I want to build the deck. Uh, okay, so this is where we're going to inflict bleed. And uh, we want to imbue with ice magic. Let's go fire rate up. Okay. 
I I guess we could do dodge chance. I mean, we're gonna need cards if if we make it. Oh, I don't even have enough money, so I don't know what we're talking about. But uh, if if you end up progressing to the next stage, part of it is uh, sacrificing cards that you're not planning on using, or that you're just kind of forced to get rid of. Uh, if if we get far enough, you'll you'll see that happen. You'll know what I'm talking about a little bit more. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that is going to help so much. Okay. I, I like the way the bleed build is coming together. I want to add to the amount of projectiles that we have on the screen. And I think that will help make this build even more ridiculous. All right, 719. I feel really good about that. Frozen enemies have a 10% chance to explode in ice shards. There we go. That's exactly what I was talking about. So we'll do that. And can we upgrade that one right now? 25% chance to explode. Yes. Ice Rune, Frost Chance up, for sure. Okay. So that is going to help quite a bit, I think. Let's see. We could get Bluff, but I don't really want it, so we're going to go without that one. Hopefully we see some shards happening. So there we go. Did, did the theme change slightly? Yeah, now we're going with... Icy bleed. I'm happy with that. Look, whatever gets the job done, right? Okay. I still think we need more projectiles happening out there. There's a lot of gold to be had. Ah, uh, got hit once, but I think there's some health to be found up there. There is. We'll go grab that. Okay, how'd we do? 568. Uh, better and more frequent health pickups. I mean, I think we're doing okay in terms of that. Um, your projectiles can now spawn thunder strikes, unlocks thunder cards. We might want to do that. Damage up and gang one armor. Um... Or HP up and luck up. You know, we'll do that because HP can be replaced. Whereas the armor just kind of goes away. And I don't know if there's a way to get the armor back, if I'm being honest. Uh, what else did they have here on offer? I guess we could get the Thunder Rune. Um, and then I think, I think we'll just go with that for now. That way, if a legendary happens to spawn, you know, I mean, they they cost a pretty penny, so we'll be we'll be set to afford it. We'll just carry some cash over. Okay. Oh, we need that magnesis. Let's grab that. Wonderful! Holy smokes! That was a gigantic help. Okay. So the special also serves as a good escape mechanism. Unless you end up in another crowd. And right now it's very easy to end up in another crowd. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, we are going to see a boss attempt here. Let's run towards this dude. He's usually up here. I put him elsewhere this time. Of course, we took a hit on our way there. Ooh, okay. 
Uh, soul drill. Fire a soul drill that pierces through enemies every six shots. 50% chance to fire plus one, but damage down and fire rate down. Um, okay, we're going to go soul drill. I'll go ahead and take that as well. Where is this dude? Okay, there's the arrow heading to him. Let's not walk across the spot. Oh, that was not him. Okay, what do we got here? Fire rate, bullet speed, and range up, lights off. No, huge damage up, fire rate and speed down. You're invincible while tashing, lose one max HP. No, I don't think we're going to do any of those things. Where is the boss? We need him to fire some projectiles at us again so we can find where the hell he is. Come on, boss. Come on. This is crazy. You know, we already checked up top. Is he down here in the corner? Come on, where is he? Because he's usually... Oh, okay, so he is up there. All right. Everybody's like, come on, goat. They didn't change his position. What are you smoking there? Oh, boy. Okay. It is getting a tad bit difficult here. Not going to lie. So you kind of get bum rushed and then he opens up and is possible to do more damage to. You can damage him right now, but not by much. See, here we go. And we got to watch for his projectiles to start. Okay. I'm going to back up a little bit. Dodge these. We're going to go looking for health if we can find it. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. So, I guess we got to head back down, right? Back by our buddy. All right, let's not get hit again. And I say that as we get hit. You know, this time I'm going to hang out over here, actually. And still do a little bit of damage at a time to him, if we can. I guess if we take another hit, I'll, I'll go out looking for health. Okay. Once you get to this point in the round... As far as I know, the gems aren't worth a whole lot because there's no, you know, it's not like you're going to the store again. All right, come on. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, there they come. Okay. I'm going to stop shooting so that we've got maximum mobility. There we go. All right. Hey. What do you know? Okay, let's grab this free card. Come on, something good. Clockwork Dragon. Fire rate increases when HP is low. Um, you know, let's go Soul Gear for now. I love that you can pet the animal. 
Just saying. All right, so then what we're gonna do is use our prime dust to uh, build up. So we'll go one in deck size. And then, you know, I, I kind of like to max out these capabilities down here so that we can get better card drops along the way. And then we'll just put, uh, well, we'll put a couple over there. We do have the familiar that I plan on keeping. And I guess we'll go dodge chance. Okay. That should be a good distribution. Now, unfortunately, over here, we're going to have to make uh, some sacrifices. I try to stick to the commons so that we don't lose anything really, really good. Uh, so I like the soul gear because it bounces. We'll get rid of the drill. We've got to get up to 350 uh, is basically what's happening. Let's do the thunder rune. Um, I want to keep the hell thorns and anything that does bleed if possible. Let's keep the HP up. We can get rid of that. Um, see, this is where it gets harder. Fire rate up. I guess we'll do that. And do we have a smaller one? We'll do that. Okay. So there's our offering. And on we go to the next stage. We'll see how this goes. I'm not going to lie. It's a harder stage. Don't get me wrong. I understand why it needs to be that way. We need to get those orbitals going right away. Okay, we've got a free card. Let's see what we got. Hemophilia, bleed lasts longer, critical damage up. I think that's probably what we're going to go with. Range and luck up grants one demon heart. Coin pickup range up. Uh, we're going to go Hemophilia. Okay. Hemo Rage spawns a circular saw that inflicts bleed every 10 shots. I would have loved that. I would have loved the blunderbuss. I like all of those. I think we're just going to hold on to our gold and hope that some of these show up again. Come on, orbitals. Don't fail us. Oh, no, I got stuck. Okay. I was a little worried there. All right. Got hit again, but that's okay. Still have the two hearts. Let's come back up and grab these gems. Oh, man. Now we're down to one. We're kind of stuck in this corner, too. Okay. Uh, projectiles bounce off of enemies. That would be great. But I think we've got to go with this. Yeah, I think we just have to. HP up. Start next wave at full HP. Wow. That came at the perfect time. All right, get out there, saw blade. Oh, man. I just don't know that we have the firepower. These waves are really thick. Down to one. I'm going to go hard hunting. Usually you can find them in the structures that you can break. Oh! So that's going to do it for this run. Let's see how much blood we brought back. Or bloody bowels, red bowels. I don't know what they are. Let's, uh, 
Let's see if we can get any of the new meta progression. So we've got 520 to spend 1,000 for another card in the deck size. And I don't think we opened up any new characters. Let's see, did we? No. So to open up this one, we've got to beat the second floor with Lilith, and this one beat the third floor with Leonard. Okay, this dude's probably Leonard, I'm guessing. So anyway, there's more Cult of Babel. Hope you enjoyed hanging out. Now I can take a sip of coffee. This is not a uh, go ahead and take sips of coffee throughout playing the game type of game. But the roguelike deck builder that I'll be playing later in the week on the channel is going to be more friendly and, and open to playing the game that way. So cheers to you regardless. I've got a nice dark roast going here. Hope you've got something good too. And I'll tell you what. Uh, we'll do this again next time where we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do on the channel every single time. If you like the rogues, please keep hanging out with us. It, uh, it means the world to me to see the channel and the community grow. I love hearing from you all in the comments. This has been quite the adventure that I started back in February of 2020 just as a hobby to get me in there and start doing video editing because I couldn't force myself into opening up DaVinci Resolve just on my own. So this kind of got me in there more often and it just spawned into meeting just some tremendous people out there. And, uh, uh, it's been it's been great. So uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you next time out on the Goat Force Gaming Channel. You take care. Be well.